we are doing a toy design for a client, an occupational therapist, because she has put um, a project out for students to look at someone with cerebral palsy and what type of toy design she could use for therapy. And so they're using the whole design process, designing it, making a prototype, um, trying to print on 3D printer, and looking at the decision matrix to see the pros and cons of certain different designs. And they work together as a group to find the best design fit for their clients. And we have to try and make a toy design that will help them with whatever their problems are. Their forearm, their fingers, whatever is affecting their eyebrows. The design that we had to do, we actually had to choose the age group that we wanted to put them in. If we chose a hard one, we can choose above a certain age. And if we chose an easy one, we usually put it for all ages. We've learned how to sketch, how to use 1, 2, 3D design. That one, it took a little bit of time. Everyone was a bit confused, especially with the video. But after a few weeks, we actually got it and we made 